Hello, this is John Carney, product engineer at Cadence, and this video is going to give you a bunch of tips and tricks for ORCAD X Capture. Number one tip and trick is mass editing of properties. You can select the design file or any page or any project folder in this project panel, and you can choose edit object properties. What you're then going to get is this property editor, which is effectively an editable spreadsheet listing everything in the entire design. So you can see all the components, all the nets, all the pins, all the title blocks, globals, ports, aliases, etc. So for example, let's say you needed to come in here and change manufacturing part number to some other property. You can select it, you can edit it, you can copy, you can create new properties for every part, every net in the design. You can even copy and paste to and from Excel like a spreadsheet. Tip number two, selection filter. When you have a schematic page open, you can click your right mouse button and turn on the selection filter. This is going to control what you can select and operate on. For example, let's say you wanted to delete everything on this page with the exception of components. You could uncheck parts and then window select and then hit OK, and then window select the entire page, and then everything except components is selected, and then you could delete all those things. Then of course you can undo that to put everything back. The next tip is customizing the toolbar. Maybe you don't use all of these buttons up here and you want a cleaner interface. You can click on any of these down arrows here and you can choose to add or remove buttons. And then you can pick under each menu, maybe you don't want to see the print button up there anymore, and then the print button goes away. Maybe you don't want the save button either, then the save button goes away. Maybe under piece by you don't want to see any of those things. You can turn those off and then all those things go away. Of course, you can come back in here at any time and recheck them or hit the reset toolbar button to get everything back to the factory defaults. You can make a library out of all the parts contained in your design. In the project manager, you always have your design cache folder that lists the localized cache version of every part in the design. You can create a new library file, which gives you a new library in the project panel. And then you can select all the parts or a subset of the parts from the design cache, choose to copy them. And now you're basically copying files just like Window Explorer. You can then select the new library file and choose to paste them in there. And then you can save that library wherever you'd like on your network and now you have a local copy of the library containing every part in that design. This next tip is very basic but something I'd recommend everybody enable. Auto backup. Under the options menu you can enable auto backup, specify how frequently you want it to make a backup, how many backups you want to keep, and where you want it to keep these backups. By default it has a little dot there which means they're going to be in the working design directory. That can be used to back up a design to something where if you made a mistake or if there's an issue in the design file, you can go back to previous versions. The next tip is design compare. Under the tools menu, you can launch compare designs and it's gonna open this form asking you for two designs. The first design on the left is the design that you have open when you launch the command. Then you can use the browse button to select a second design, which is probably gonna be a variation of this design that you're working with. Then you need to select which browser you want to use to navigate the visual design differences. I'll select Chrome and then hit compare. You first get a differences summary indicating all the logical differences, component differences, pin connectivity differences, net differences, or all differences which can also include graphical things. And then in either one of these reports if you hit show details this is why it needs to offer you the browser, it will then open up the differences inside of a browser-based application where you can navigate using this list down here to see that, for example, you have part reference differences, component differences, and then each one of these you can click on them and it'll open the design A, design B over here. So here you can see different reference designators, here you can see it's just property differences, here you can see a component has been completely deleted or changed from one design to another design. The next tip is OLE objects. Under the place menu, you can place an OLE object, which stands for object link embedding, or another way to think about it is embedding an executable document inside of your ORCAD X design file. 
So you'll be presented with a list of all the executable documents that you can embed. A typical example is a PDF file for a data sheet. So I'll choose to embed an Adobe Acrobat document. I'm gonna hit OK. It's then gonna open up Adobe and ask you to browse to the PDF document. So I'll select this data sheet here. Double clicking on the data sheet is gonna open the data sheet inside of Adobe and then back inside of ORCAD X Capture presented with the crosshairs to draw an image representing the data sheet that you just put in. So now what you have inside your schematic page is you have an image representing the data sheet and then you have the data sheet itself. So for example, if I were to close this data sheet entirely, back inside your ORCAD X schematic, you have this image, which is the front page of the data sheet. If you select it, it's going to open up that application based upon the application you chose when you embedded this into the design in the first place. So you're basically embedding smart documentation inside of your schematic.